Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Penn here, and um, I wanted to sit down this Thursday night and record a video and put out some content. Uh, of course, by the time you guys see this, it won't be until Friday afternoon, maybe around 3 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, lately, you know, I've just been, you know, working in the background. Uh, business is going well uh pursuing a different career that's going well so far you know getting emails um phone interviews lined up you know things are looking up um this year i have some major goals that i plan to accomplish and none of those goals include you know being on social media or you know doing or having a, a, a major outlet. I, I view this as a hobby. You know, I do enjoy the select conversations that I have with a few trusted individuals, but partially the reason why you guys haven't really seen me, you know, on YouTube in general, across different people's platforms or channels is because I'm on some fallback stuff. Um, I practice what I preach and um, I see what's going on. And this is really not much to talk about, really. Um, if I'm going one direction and I see you might be going a different direction, you know, it's, it's really nothing left to say in regards to that. Um, been on Twitter more and Discord, been in those communities, been posting content on my Twitter. So if you wish to follow me on Twitter, um, you have that option to do so. I'm not going to tell you to follow me. If you wish, if you're on the platform, um, I post content there, mainly just sharing my experiences, my gameplays, my thoughts, and whatever the case may be. In this video, I'm going to get into a game that I happened to discover while I was browsing Steam. And I'm like, oh, okay. It's an anime 2D fighter right up my alley. I like fighters in general. Just always nice to diversify um, your game and genres and just have different things to uh, to experience, you know, just overall good thing to do. Also, um, if I did not mention it last week, uh, I believe I did mention it briefly that I, I did a factory reset, a fresh install of my Windows 10 and before. This boot drive, the C, was 256 gigs. It was running, it was getting low. I had like 40 to 60 gigs. And for the work that I do, because I'm a content creator outside of YouTube, I needed a bigger boot drive because a lot of files run directly through the operating system, which is why those 250 gig boot drives or 500 gig, they're cool. It's okay. But for a person like me that does content outside of YouTube, I need the most space possible, the best price to performance. So you see here it says 1.58 terabytes instead of 1.81. It's a two terabyte NVMe Western Digital. The reason for that is because I went on YouTube, you know, trying to find out some additional information. You know, I, I like to do a little bit of research. I tried to clone my 256 gig SSD to the two terabyte, which the clone was successful, but I started seeing some weird issues. Um, I took out the original boot drive that came with this computer and I replaced it with the drive you see here. But on the old window setup before the fresh install, this two terabyte show as a whole separate drive, meaning it wasn't the boot drive even though it was in the motherboard and windows had it selected as a boot drive it wasn't a successful cloning um in the aspect of it completely replaced it had the original 256 as if it was actually installed in a computer which it wasn't i had took it out so um i found that a bit odd and when i was I noticed overall that the computer was more responsive. Once I did the clone, it was a bit quicker on its feet, but it was it was like weird. It wasn't behaving the way I wanted. So I just said, let me just load up Windows on the flash drive and let me put it on a uh, 
let me just do a fresh install so that's where this came from so the reason why you see 1.58 instead of 1.81 is because the 256 gig drive it was a partition um and it's it's strange but it works just know that i got more space my computer is running better than ever and um everything is smooth with the 64 gigs of ram and yeah I, I had to like go through some stuff to get it to where i want it but it's nothing you know troubleshooting software and hardware you know that's just a part of the game you know so that's that all right so i'm going to jump into uh this game here and this is phantom breaker amina So this is the demo. Um, I found this on Steam. Now this is also available on, I believe, the PlayStation, the Xbox, I think Nintendo as well. But by this being the demo, you know, this was free to download, of course. Um, you got options. some options. Okay, there we go. So you guys can hear my voice better while I do this game. Um, input lag zero, round count three, all this default, you know, this default settings. Language, you gotta set to English, screen, full screen, V-Sync is off. You know, the game is locked at 60 FPS. To my knowledge, I'm not aware that you can um, make it go higher, but most of these 2D anime fighters are locked at 60 frames. In, in my experience, that is. So, I actually did play a little bit of this before the video. They give you four characters to play in the demo. Um, I haven't tried everyone. Uh, Waka, she's a long range. Mikoto, she's mid-range. Uh, Itsuzuki, mid-range rushdown. And um, Yusahara, I think that's her. Or Yusaha, <laughs> close range tricky. So some of these names can be a little bit hard to pronounce. Um, I don't have the best pronunciation, but I do like this genre of game. So uh, Makoto, I'll pick Makoto. And use a quick style. They got different styles too. So when you choose a character, um, you see how it says quick style, a style specializing in combos, land consecutive hits using clock up. Then you got the ominous style, which a style lacking complex mechanics, but enhances the character's overall specs. Then you got the hard style, a style specializing in single hit attack, solid armor enhances defense capabilities. So you can choose whatever style fits your personal preference, your gameplay, and I like that, you know, so for me, I, I've been sticking with the quick style, so I'm going to choose that. And, um, now allow me to, uh, There we go. Style. You can choose the different stages. Good choice. <clears throat> so for this video, I'll just do one match and um, I'll call it a video. I never wanted this power. Remember oh, that. Hey, pleased to meet ya. The fire in your heart is burning. Round one. Oh, got that counter going. Oh, no. Ooh. 
And then in demo, you can only play against the computer. You know, this is pretty much your practice, your training thing, so it is what it is. I'm just trying to game out, getting a feel for the characters, the combos. I like the background art in this. Um, pretty dope. Ooh, well. You're wide okay. Ouch. A real mist. If that's special, going. Not bad. Ouch. Oh, come on. Some low kicks. <laughs> Don't stand in my Low way. Kicks. Wither, Mikoto. So yeah, it's the uh. In your heart is burning. Round two. Fight. Uh, really yeah. outside of work and business. You know, I've just been gaming. Diving in. Beat the Spider Man on PS5. Beat Miles Morales. Beat Legend of Korra. Not on PC. I beat Bright Memory Infinite on PC. So. I, I just been chilling. I, this, uh, I figure as long as I handle my business, get this money, um, <clears throat> you know, leave the YouTube drama alone. I'm, good. I'm straight. Because you know when you just hear stuff and you know it's just not right. <laughs> Like you can tell, like for example, you can tell who games on PC and who doesn't. It's pretty obvious. You can tell that by conversations. Not bad. There we go. Get that off. There we go. Got the focus for a bit. Got my dog. But yeah, but in this game and this YouTube thing, you know, people are going to tell you where you stand. Why are we fighting? Or how they stand, either by their conversation or by their actions. Like, if you're not going to find out by their conversation what they really about, um. You're going to find out on their channel or social media in general. So, me, I, I just been on some fallback stuff. And, you know, that's just, that's just the way it is with me. But, uh, catch y'all later on. This video will be available for you guys sometime Friday afternoon. Um, I'm going to be doing a podcast with Home Theater Man again if he's available. I'll push out. The notification for YouTube so that you guys will see it and um, come through if you're available 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, if you want to come onto the panel, you know, you can DM me on Telegram and things of that nature, or you can comment on this video and we'll go from there. So, everybody take care and peace out.